Hey guys, Sephiren here. Since I was away on vacation, today's episode's gonna be a little bit extensive. I'm covering two things today. Cuffs and decorations. I'll start with cuffs. In Monster Hunter Frontier Z, there are no RNG-based talismans. Every set can be crafted through grinds, aside from the premium ones. To give an easy example, Cuffs are more akin to Monster Hunter World's talisman system, where you craft them once and they stay forever. You can equip them for point bonuses or boosters, depending on the cuff itself. The only requirement for a cuff is to have an active poogie with a poogie outfit. Yeah, an actual active poogie. As weird as that sounds, these cuffs are equipped on your pork chop. I'll be covering poogies in Frontier in a later video. Alright, so there are two kinds of cuffs. The first kind of cuffs are standard cuffs. These are normal run-of-the-mill stuff you'd find. They consist of one or two skills, and are equipped on your armor to activate them. Your Pogi has a maximum of two cuff slots. Some cuffs require only a single slot on your Pogi, others require two. Most of the time, the two slot ones are more useful than the single slot ones throughout your set building. Think Monster Hunter World's craftable talisman system with the pre-Monster Hunter World skill system. The second set of cuffs are Zenith Cuffs. Zenith Cuffs are special since they give you a Zenith Booster skill. Just for a quick snippet, Zenith skill boosts are really strong and push your hunter beyond the regular skill limits, such as giving you stronger earplugs, stronger tremores, or giving you the ability to equip an extra skill beyond the maximum 12. For both cuff types, premium cuffs are not much better than standard ones. They provide more customization, yeah, but most sets you find don't actually need them. Once you're in G-Rank, you'll need to get a G-Rank Poogie Cuff upgrade to equip a G-Rank Cuff. That sounds pretty simple, right? Next up on the list is decorations. As I said before, Monster Hunter Frontier uses a pre-world system of skills. For our friends who are introduced to Monster Hunter in World, basically, you have to reach a certain number of skill points to activate the skill itself. On standard, skills need at least 10 points. Some in Frontier require 15 to activate at start, and some skills aren't really worth it until the higher amounts. Now, every armor piece you'll ever use will have points dedicated to a certain skill, as with every Monster Hunter. What makes Frontiers different is that the decorations are made by melding armor pieces. Like, full-on armor pieces. Here, I'll show you. This is a Ko Arboru chest piece. It has the following skills. When I turn it into a decoration, it has somewhat the same skills with a little less points per stat. But I can slot it into my armor pieces. This means making mixed sets is your way to go beyond a certain point of the game. Armor pieces can only be turned into a decoration once they reach a certain level on the tier. Though, most of the decorations nowadays are on the GX tier. So let's say you need a Kushala GX decoration. You'll have to first build Kushala's G rank armor, upgrade it up 21 levels through 3 tiers, then at GX7, you can turn it into a GX decoration. And that would give you one GX Kushala armor piece. Nowadays, decoration making is much easier. Much, much easier. The amount of materials needed was drastically reduced to two rare materials and one G hardcore carve. Rare carves include such as marrows, gems, fangs, and the likes. Hardcore carves are carves that come from the G-Rank Hardcore variants of monsters, and are 2% on the drop table. Both these drops can be bought in the road shop after you've cleared the first 10 floors of Hunter's Road. This new way to make decorations pretty much cuts down the usual time needed to make one by 10 fold. If this is the new way, why go through all that trouble explaining the old method as well? Well. Nearly all decorations can be made using the new method, 
the few exceptions to this includes hidden decorations and Raviente decorations. As of recently, you get 5 hidden deco vouchers every time you resub to Frontier. But on occasion you need to regrind those 6000 tickets for one, you'll have to rebuild it from base level to maximum to get another. There are no shortcuts to a Raviente decoration, you have to grind that. Base G rank armor sets can have 12 skills total as I said earlier. Running a skill plus 1 boost from Zenith armor pieces, weapons, and cuff can get you up to 19 activated skills in one go. That should be all for now. Thank you for listening everyone. Hope to see you soon. Ciao!